So Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we are talking about the Puritan age, uh, which is there from 1600 to 1660. This is the age of literature that uh, we are now concerned with. Um, I just could discuss it in form of MCQs. So beginning with the first one. So literature of 17th century may be divided into dash periods. So it is two periods. Though periods may be divided as 17th century literature. So that is Puritan age or the age of Milton, number one. And number two is the restoration period or the age of Dryden. So you do periods 17th century can uh, that yeah. In other words, 17th century may be said to be divided in these two periods, the Puritan age, which is also called the age of Milton, and the restoration age, which is also called the age of Dryden. So 17th century was marked by the decline of dash spirit. So that is Renaissance spirit. So Renaissance spirit was uh, declining by 17th century in many ways. So it's, if uh, especially we're concerned with literature, so it is uh, uh, it was also declined after Renaissance literature in 17th century. And this is also linked with it. The Puritan age lacked quality playwrights. So we don't find any Shakespeare or Molo in Puritan age. Kuch rules aise the, kuch government aise the, kuch religious takaze aise the. We don't find uh, people uh, who were uh, like writing about secular plays or writing quality plays. So playwrights ka jahan tak taluk hai, is age mein achhe playwrights nahi the. In this age, Newton, Bacon, uh, Bacon and uh, Descartes, they popularized the spirit of science. So this age was more prone towards uh, scientific innovations, scientific writing, and the scientific style in writing. English language as a vehicle for stirring and conveying facts for the first time was used in the Puritan age. So, is the pale English language ka use kya tha? Is the pale subse pale poetry leke gay? Uske baad usme we find ke mystery, morality plays. Then uske baad Renaissance ke plays or Renaissance poetry. Ab aake yahan pe first time English language ko use kiya gaya facts convey karne ke liye. Like in other way, like we talked about in the previous slide, jisme scientific writing thi. Just can that scientific touch tha, just can that information convey ki ja rahi thi, uh, essays uh, properly. So, yes, Sarah Kuch is me first time Puritan age may start to And then another new form of writing appeared in this age known as the art of biography. So, biography started here in this age, like uh, it was. Uh, Prominent afterwards, though, with na zyada isko success ne mili, zyada tar isko baad mein populate kiya gaya. But at least it was prominent, it started. Ye is age mein ek silsila shuru ho gaya. So, which was also a novel kind of writing, which was also a new style or new kind of writing. So, uh, Dash was the noblest representative of the Puritan spirit. So, that is John Milton. So John Milton happens to be the noblest representative because uh, he is best known for this age or this no age is known for his name. Like we say, ke, this is age of Milton. So age of Milton, ke hawale se, what we can say is ke, uh, he was the proponent of the age. He was the champion of the age or he is the one after whom the age is known. Just the age of Chaucerty, it was very famous in the same way. Ye jo age hai, ye predominantly Milton ki uh, naam se uh, jani jati hai, uske naam se pechani jati hai. So coming further, this age focused more on liberty of people. Like liberty of people was uh, kind of ignored in uh, the previous ages. Uh, just me, kingship ka rule tha, kings jo te, wo... Uh, uh, like uh, they were all powerful 
और लोगों के ऊपर एक ऑपरेशन था इंडिविजुअल की वैल्यू कम थी देव रिनाइसेंस रिनाइसेंस पुट एन लाइक एन एफर्ट टू इंक्रीज द लेवल ऑफ ह्यूमैनिज्म लेकिन यहां पे पीपल की लिबर्टी को ज्यादा फोकस किया गया एज फॉर एज द रोल ऑफ किंग वाज कंसर्नड रीजन इज के जो किंग था वो पहले ऑल पावरफुल था उसके पास सारे रूल्स थे सारी सॉरी इसके पास सारी पावर्स थी रेक्विजिट्स प्री रेक्विजिट्स थे ऐसा ऐसा जो किंग की जो पोजीशन थी लाइक यस्टरडे वी टॉक्ड अबाउट द प्रीवी काउंसिल सो ये प्रीवी काउंसिल कैबिनेट इन सारी चीजों के साथ साथ ऐसा ऐसा जो पार्लियामेंट की जो एस्टेब्लिशमेंट थी उससे किंग का रोल ऐसा ऐसा खत्म हो रहा था ये काम इनिशिएट हुआ सिक्सटीन के बाद इन आज रैपिड स्पीड लेकिन उससे पहले uh, ये था कि किंग को उसकी पावर्स में ऐसा ऐसा कमी आ रही थी आफ्टर ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन मैगना कार्टा से ऑनवर्ड्स uh, तो यहाँ पे आके जिस तरह मिल्टन हिमसेल्फ इज अगेंस्ट चार्ल्स वन सो वो उसके ट्रिनिकल एटीट्यूड के अगेंस्ट था सो द नेम पीरियटिन वॉज फर्स्ट गिवन टू दर्स हु it with those who advocated certain changes in the form of worship of the reformed english church under under elizabeth so you voted you know ne thodi si ek changes leke aaye religious structure ke andar worship ki forms mein us church ke andar jo ke reform tha jisko thoda sa badla gaya change kiya gaya so it was a kind of sect So Puritanism became a dash against the tyrannical uh, rule of the king. So it was a national movement, so not a movement by a single person. It was a national movement, a Komi movement, ban chuki thi. A Puritans were happy when Charles I was defeated and beheaded. So Charles I ke jo tyrannical rule tha, jab Charles I ko haraya gaya, usse behead kiya gaya, uska sar kata gaya, to uspe Puritans they were happy for it ab uh, milton ki jo paradise lost hai jisko hum discuss bhi karenge so milton apne paradise lost mein kahin na kahin god ke andar king ka character aur uh, satan ke andar apne aap ko dekhta hai so like satan is standing and opposing god so milton was standing and opposing charles one now jacobean poetry was there during the rule of james one so james one was a king क्योंकि लेटर ऑन ही रिसीव द थ्रोन किंग बना इंग्लैंड का सो इन हिज टाइम जो पोइट्री लिखी गई उसे जैकोबियन पोइट्री कहते हैं सो जेम्स वन के उस इंग्लैंड से जाने के बाद जो रिवॉल्ट हुई बाद में इंग्लैंड में उनको भी जैकोबाइट रिवॉल्ट कहा जाता है कैरल एन पोइट्री वॉज देयर ड्यूरिंग द रूल ऑफ चार्ल्स वन सो चार्ल्स वन के टाइम में जो पोइट्री हुई उसे कैरल एन पोइट्री का नाम दिया जाता है The school of Spencer included Spencerians who followed the style of Edmund Spencer, which we have talked about yesterday. The Spencer, the famous uh, poet of the Fairy Queen, was who was following him. His sonnets, his stanzas, so his followers, particularly Spencer, were the ones who were following him. So his followers, particularly Spencer, were the ones who were following him. So his followers, particularly Spencer, were the ones who were following him. So his followers, particularly Spencer, were the ones who were following him. So his followers, particularly Spencer, were the ones who were following him. So his followers, particularly Spencer, were the ones who were following him. Phineas Fletcher uh, was born in 1582 and died in 1648. He was a disciple of Edmund Spencer, or his Spencerian school. Me, uh, he was a prominent figure. He wrote Spencerian pastorals and allegories. Us uh, Spencer ke style ko follow karte hue, usne pastorals likhe, allegories likhi. Purple Island was also written by him, so this was in 1633. He was brother of Giles Fletcher, जो के 1583 से 1623 तक रहा. So both of these were brothers and disciples of uh, Spencer, and they followed his uh, uh, school of thought or his Spencerian school of thought. के uh, like uh, बहुत प्रोमिनेंट फिगर्स थे जिन्होंने इसके ऊपर स्पेंसर की थॉट्स को आगे या उसके स्टाइल को आगे लेके चले 
Giles Fletcher wrote Christ, Victory, and Triumph in Heaven and Earth over and after death. So this was in 1610. So this is famous by uh, Giles Fletcher. Now, there's certain more poets under the same influence, like these were also Spenserians. So they had the same school of thought. William Brown from 1590 to 1645, George Bither, 1588 to 1667, and William uh, Drummond, 1558 to 1649. Now, Britannia's Pastorals of 1613, it was written by William Brown, the one we just talked about, born in 1590 and died in 1645. William Brown. So he wrote uh, Britannia's Pastorals in 1613. George Wither, born in 1588 and died in 1667, he wrote Shepherd's Hunting in 1614. William Drummond, 1558 to 1649, is known for Tears on the Death of Maladies and an elegy 1613 so uh, like it was a poem which was uh, which is famous poem by william drummond then come the metaphysical poets so metaphysical poets include the famous john den Herrick, thomas Carew, richard uh, crusher henry wogan george herbert and lord herbert of sherbury so these were the metaphysical poets of uh, 17th century. Now, who uh, the metaphysical poets were? So these were those people who used highly philosophical themes. They used conceits, exaggerations, uh, uh, like uh, a spirit of uh, rena remaining spirit of Renaissance, far-fetched imageries, metaphors. Who first used the term metaphysical? So it was Dr. Johnson. So in his essay on Abraham Coley, uh, in his Lives of the Poets, he uh, used the term metaphysical for the first time. So yeah, Dr. Johnson ne ye term used ki. So the famous metaphysical poet John Dunn was born and died in 1572 and 1631. So ye is ka time frame tha metaphysical poet hone ke saath saath john dunn is more famous for being a love poet so iski love poetry bahut zyada mashhoor hai the flea was written by john dunn apart from so many other famous poems uh, which include twickenham garden which uh, which include a song holy sonnets which include a valediction forbidding morning a valediction of weeping uh, and uh, sunny rising, go and catch a falling star. So there are plenty of poems by John Dunn. So uh, like we already discussed these in the previous session, but uh, again, we should know who the poet is and what is his work. So um, a valediction forbidding mourning is also written by the same poet, John Dunn. So uh, let me tell you, John Dunn deals with love on three parts. Number one, he talks about his beloved, who afterwards became his wife. Then he talks about uh, uh, the like rest of the women, about whom he is sure that they are disloyal. And thirdly, about God. So he talks about love in three different strands. Robert Herrick was born and died in 1591 to 1674. Coley was born and died in 1618 to 1667. So, Abhi Tak, Jo Hamare Samne, Jinke Names So far, the important hai, that is uh, like uh, Fletcher uh, uh, Brothers, Jo Ke Spencerian School of Thought Ke Bani Te. Uske baad, we have uh, John Dunn. So, Iske baad, Ye Baki Jo Hai Sare, they are minor poets, like in, we don't, we never know. What question may be asked? Andy Morwell was born and died in 1606 to 1687. Ben Jones. So, where the metaphysical poets followed uh, the lead of Dan, the Cavalier poets followed Ben Johnson. 
सो उसमें जो कैटेगरीज फर्दर डिवाइड हुई थी तो जिस तरह मेटाफिजिकल पोइट्स एक अपने आप को जॉन डन के अंडर समझते थे उसको फॉलो करते थे सो जो कैमेलियर पोइट्स से दे वुड फॉलो बेन जॉनसन एंड हिज स्टाइल बेन जॉनसन इमिटेटेड और एस द फेमस लाइक सेट्रिकल राइटर बाय राइटिंग लाइक हिम ही वुड राइट सेटायर्स एलिजीज एपिस्टल्स एंड कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री वर्ड्स सो ही वॉज फॉलोइंग द स्टाइल ऑफ और एस Cavalier means so cavalier means a royalist. So royalist means one who fought on the side of king during the civil war. उस ज़माने में जो civil war थी मुल्क के अंदर फसादात थे तो जो king के साथी थे उनको royalist कहा जाता था जिसका दूसरा name था uh, cavalier. Eric, Lovelace, Suckling and uh, Carew these were all cavalier poets. He was the greatest poet of the Puritan age, the representative, the most noble representative, and the greatest poet of uh, the Puritan age. So the credit goes to John Milton for his famous Paradise Lost and so many other works, which include Paradise Regained as well. Thy soul was like a star and dwelt apart. So this was wrote about Milton by William Wordsworth. तो ये इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेट है जो कि वर्ड्स की तरफ से है अबाउट जॉन मिल्टन दाई सोल वॉज लाइक अ स्टार एंड अपार्ट मिल्टन रोट द फॉर्म लाइक इन सिक्सटीन सेवन मिल्टन हिमसेल्फ वॉज बोर्न एंड डाइड इन सिक्सटीन ओ एट टू सिक्सटीन सेवेंटी फोर ही वॉज ब्लाइंड एज वेल आफ्टर सेटीन passage of passage of time so milton's masterpiece paradise lost was published in 1667 this is very important date so paradise lost happens to be his epic poem which is uh, renowned all over and milton is known for his, uh, this uh, work by him so uh, it has immortalized milton and his spirit So written in 1667, this man cuts us all out, and the ancients too was said about Milton by John Dryden. This quote is important equally. Wordsworth ne jo kaha aur ab jo Dryden ne kaha John Dryden ne ke ye banda ham sab ko kaat gaya, alki ham se pehle walon ko bhi. So ye Milton ke jo isne ek credit diya hai, this is given by uh, John Dryden. Paradise Regained and Samson Agonistus was were published in 1671. The greatest dramatist of Jacobean period was Ben Jonson. So this is fourth important name here. So Ben Jonson, both important here, like he was the greatest dramatist in this period. Ka. दो के इससे पहले हम कोई बेहतर ड्रामाटिस्ट नहीं देखते इसमें थॉमस डिकर इज कैटेगराइज अंडर जेकोबियन एंड कैरोलिन ड्रामा सो ही वॉज अमंग दैम ही वॉज बॉर्न इन फिफ्टीन थर्टी सेवन एंड जेकोबियन एंड कैरोलिन ड्रामा वॉज रिच इन प्रोज राइटिंग सो प्रोज राइटिंग में जो ड्रामा से उसमें ये जेकबियन और कैरोलिन ड्रामा इट गॉट रिचनेस डैश वॉज ब्राइटेस्ट लाइक वाइजेस्ट ब्राइटेस्ट एंड मीनेस्ट ऑफ मैन काइंड सो इट इज सेट अबाउट फ्रांसिस बेकन बिकॉज ऑफ इज श्रीड इंटेलेक्ट एंड हिज कनिंग पॉलिटिक्स सो दिस वॉज अ रिमार्क फॉर हिम ही बिलोंग्स टू Elizabethan and Jacobian both periods. So Elizabethans may be aata hai Bacon, or Jacobians may be aata hai. Bacon was born and died in 1561 to 1626. So this is the lifespan of Francis Bacon. Uh, ben Jonson wrote The Alchemist. It was famous drama by Ben Jonson. So Francis Bacon is famous for his epigrammatic style. epigrammatic style is the style in which we have very short words 
we use very short words and we convey huge information aqualis zareen jit ko kehte hain so bacon ki jo quotations hain uski writings hain they are quotable bacon published most of his essays in 1597 wo jo uski essays ke collection hum dekhte hain unka wo jo ek volume jo aaya that was in 1597 the uh, anatomy of melancholy is written by robert burton So Robert Burton wrote that Sir Thomas Brown was born and died in 1605 to 1682. Religio Medici was written by Sir Thomas Brown. Sir Thomas Brown wrote the uh, Religio Medici. So what uh, preceded Jacobian area? So it was Carolin area. So Jacobian ke baad Carolin area aaya. So Jacobian era. Ended with a severe economic uh, uh, depression in 1620 to 1626, complicated by a serious outbreak of uh, Greater Plague of London. So that is uh, known as Greater or Great Plague Plague of London, which tore many lives and killed many people in 1625 and uh, a year before. The word Jacobian is derived from dash name Jacob, which is the original form of the English name. James. So it was uh, originally a Hebrew language name, Jacob. So Jacob, jo hai, jo ko, uh, normally Jacob ke liye use hota hai. So that was uh, Jacob in Hebrew. Uh, the Jacobian area succeeds and precedes the Carolin area. So it succeeds the Elizabethan area and precedes the Carolin area, and specifically den- uh, denotes the style of architecture, visual arts, decorative arts, and literature. that is predominant of that period famous satiric drama uh, walpole is uh, written by uh, ben johnson so ben johnson ka ye bhi credit ko jata hai ye wala drama so uh, this was all together the age the puritan age or which is also called the age of milton now switching to the next one uh like uh, uh there's like four to five major figures in this 